All right, our first question is from Lucy ZL3. From listening to Mind Pump, I've learned that compound lifts are essential for building strength and muscle. Would you consider the hip thrust to be in the same category? Or is it more of an accessory exercise for those seeking to develop, develop their glutes? Ooh, that's a great... It is a great question. And that I is a really good question. And it's crazy, actually, you bring up the hip thrust. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> we're going to combo this with well, uh, I some didn't drama? Well, I didn't know you were yeah. going to go this direction yeah. and bring up the hip thrust, but we didn't talk about the intro. The, the master of the hip thrust. Our our buddy over there, Brett Contreras, is getting some heat right now, yeah, dude. Yeah, Boy, yeah. that just, that is, you know, again, here's the thing that sucks about being in the limelight like that is, you know, you do some shit where you cheat on your girl for that long. I mean, and same thing with, like, Lewis. I don't know She's how, going after him. Well, you know, I listened to her talk. She's not throwing him under the bus. Like, she's not saying his name. It's just mm -hmm. that everybody everybody who knows that they were together, like, is obviously... She's inferring it, but we yeah, all know. Yeah, and she wrote a fucking newsletter. I mean, she did put a newsletter out. Like, she's so she... And she's got, like, 300,000 followers, so she's got a massive following mm -hmm. herself. So, basically, he was, she cheated on her. Yeah. Yeah, he cheated on her with his assistant for, like, a year or a year and a half or some mm -hmm. shit is what, what she said. Okay. Of course, I'm only repeating what I've heard from her. Which, yeah, we don't which, know the, the, which, the whole deal. I mean, she's the victim. I would think that she's probably the most credible source to like share the information. So it's not like I'm, I'm sharing. But hearsay. we don't know for sure, hundred percent, just oh, based off what she said. Yeah, 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 based right. off of what she said. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then what'd you say about Lewis? At Lewis, same thing, dude. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. With uh, what's her face, Jen Doc Doc Fit or whatever. I forget her. I forget what her her handle is or whatever. Same thing. I you know I was just talking to, to Jordan at lunch too. Like, man, I was really surprised that that didn't destroy his image. I thought that somebody who's like that, you know, the oh, super positive, uh, everything right. like that, and then- I'm you, a good guy. Yeah, yeah, kind of presents himself in that light, would get really crushed by that, and just didn't. I, I But I, when the one thing that I think both of them are doing, and I've, I, I've seen Brett's page too, and I know there's already all this crazy just, hate. Just not acknowledge it? Yeah, just totally mm -hmm. ignore Gotta it. let and, the storm kind of roll by. You know, mm -hmm. this is, so I actually respect Lane Norton a lot exactly for this he oh he addressed it he yeah he got divorced because uh he had an affair and he addressed it head on mm -hmm. publicly which takes a lot of balls yeah. you know and so i appreciate that you oh know. that's one of the things that we we've connected i mean we consider lane a friend and you know he's a very polarizing personality but at the end of the day i i think that he means well uh, we all felt that way, yeah. and we felt he's authentic. When yeah. We're talking about people that are authentic and really, yeah, themselves. like him or not. Yeah, Lane he is, wears it on his sleeve. Yeah, Lane, yeah. Lane is not He'll trying to know. pretend that he is. He is. He comes off as an asshole sometimes. That's who he is. That's who, he's one hundred percent. That guy. <laughs> yeah. he's one hundred percent. You meet him guy. in person sometimes. You're like, what an asshole. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, all right, yeah. for sure. So, I understand you. Uh, yeah. I know that I just took a left on that, but that yeah. just reminded well, me like, that people are flawed, dude. People are flawed. We all make mistakes. So it's. Just, you know, and I think sometimes when you put someone on a pedestal or they put themselves on a pedestal, maybe it's a long fall, you know, mm. when, when, when shit. Finally well, that's where up. I think it's crazy is that the ones that, that put themselves on the pedestal. And I think probably it's more surprising to me about Lewis than it is Brett, because I don't feel like Brett really talked about no. that stuff. Like he was really he, he kept all his personal life. Uh, pretty quiet. No, he stayed on to the the, the glute building plan yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. so let's get back to the to the hip thrust. Now, I, you know, I've recently been doing more and more hip thrusts, and I see a lot of value in them. Yeah, your glutes look great. They look amazing. Wow. You should feel them. But I, <laughs> I'll have to give you a good game slap. No, later. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Don't do that. I, uh, but you know, to place them in the same category, because there's a lot of compound lifts. Any lift that inc that uses more than one joint would be considered compound. That doesn't mean that all compound lifts, though, are in what I would consider the, the, the best, you know, the top category of lifts, which include barbell squat, uh, deadlift, overhead press. Those are the three kind of top lifts that I would say. Then you can throw in like a barbell row um, and a bench press. So there's your, your top, top five. Would I consider a hip thrust no. in that? And no, the answer, no. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't no. do that. Like. I can think so. Barbell squat, I would say one of the best exercises you could do for your lower body. I think any split stance free weight exercise, like a lunge or a Bulgarian split stance squat, still superior to a a, a glute, you know, a, a hip thrust in terms of just functional performance and overall development. Mm -hmm. Any squat variation, I would also put above it. Front squats, 
back squats, goblet squats, step ups on a step, uh, weighted step ups. I might even rank higher. Yeah. That doesn't mean that the hip thrust doesn't have a lot of value. No, I just don't know if I would put it up there. It's just more isolated. Like, yeah. It's just got one function to it. Yeah. So I got into this debate on our forum like last year when I came out and said this. So I came out and kind of shit on it a little bit. And I shit on it for, for these reasons because people were coming out and saying it's the most functional exercise that we can do and – I was like, too no, far. yeah, no, too far, exactly. Mm-hmm. Or it's the one of the best compound movements we can do. No, 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 no. It's not. You know, it's not the most functional. It is not. Is it an awesome exercise? Fuck yes. Yeah. Is it incredible for building the glutes? Yes. Like it's definitely. I definitely believe it belongs in a lot of people's repertoire for sure. I don't think it's like just you got some good French there. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> did I mess it up? Bro? No, you did. No, you rolled oh, okay. it off the tongue. Don't fuck with me, bro. No, 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 no. I was impressed. impressed. Sorry. I had that combo. I had that pure combo. Oh, you this did? Morning. Yeah, oh, fucking snap. Organifi coming through there. Speaking what is of that? Time stamp, like 20 minute, 30 minute time it is, stamp? It's, no, it is. No, see, it takes me longer. I think it takes uh, Sal 30. I think we're almost like 45, 50 into this. Oh, wow. So yeah. it's a little delayed in my brain a little bit. So. <laughs> but anyways, <Merci. laughs> I just I, I got into this debate with somebody Menage that trois. it is not. Uh, and he, here's the here's the case that somebody can make. Up. First of all, the the uh, you have to right away anybody who's presenting it uh, as as amazing as it is, more than likely is profiting off of uh, off of a product that's related to it. So be careful of that. So if you're gonna if you're gonna read the science and the literature on it. Read the science and literature of somebody that's not attached also to to the product itself. Mm-hmm. So that's important that you do that. Yeah. And when you read all the literature that's a- around that movement, yeah, it's an incredible glute development movement. And and are a lot of people suffering from anterior pelvic tilt? Yeah, and I think that would be a great exercise to do to help counter that. So it's a great strengthening exercise. So long as you do it right. Right, exactly. Yeah, so long mm-hmm. as you do it right, that can help address that. Is it one of the best things for building the glutes? Absolutely. So you can make a lot of cases for why it's amazing, but no, 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 no. Does, does it belong up there with overhead press, deadlift? You now, know. I want to add one thing to this, is that, and that is if an exercise specifically corrects an issue or an imbalance for you, that exercise becomes the most functional, excellent, beneficial exercise. Excellent point. A seat, yeah. So to that argument- totally. A seated row could be the most important thing that you do. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like so So if you have an issue with hip extension, if your glutes aren't firing right. the way you the want sleepy butt syndrome. Right. If it's underdeveloped, if that's something that if this if the hip thrust is the perfect exercise for your body and your movement patterns, then it does belong. In the absolute what time. a what a great point because you're right if because I know people some people listening are like no that exercise changed, yeah, changed my life, my life. Yeah. yeah that's I right that it, no that's a hundred percent right and all the ones that you listed before step ups split stance you know lunges squats if your if your glutes aren't firing properly and you don't have good hip extension then barbell hip thrust could absolutely supersede those movements totally. because of that reason. Yeah, so that is a very good point. And we're speaking generally. So generally speaking, you know, after training hundreds of people or thousands through the gym, people that have come through my gyms, um, hip thrusts, generally speaking, just aren't as valuable for most people like a deadlift or like a barbell squat or a split stance squat. But there are definitely people um, where a barbell hip thrust is the most beneficial, valuable exercise. So at the end of the day, yes, we're giving you general advice, but you have to apply it uh, to yourself as an individual. And if you're somebody that lacks that hip extension, lacks that connectivity to your glutes, or let's just say you're into body sculpting and bodybuilding, you really don't care too much about function. You just really want to develop just the glutes and you have trouble connecting to them with barbell squats. Now it becomes an extremely valuable exercise. So I wanted to put that out there because for sure, you know, we have a lot of listeners and for sure there's at least five people listening who are like hip thrust changed my life. Yeah. And yeah. they that very well may be true.